So it did not take Joe Biden very long to utilize unauthorized military force. For those who haven't followed the details, we launched a, a strike. We shot seven missiles at a facility in eastern Syria that's kind of right along the border with Iraq. We were allegedly targeting Iranian operatives who opposed our interest in Iraq. Notice the like <laughs> comfort with which they just assert that that's a reasonable response. Oh, yeah, no, they oppose our interests, so we shot seven missiles at a building and killed 20-some people. They just think that's reasonable. There are plenty of people in this world and institutions in this world and governments in this world that oppose my interests. Would it be reasonable for me to assert that we should shoot seven missiles at them? The United States government opposes our interests in many ways, inflicts violence upon its own communities by denying them basic needs. Would it be reasonable for any of us to suggest that we shoot seven missiles at a United States government facility? Of course not. And if we were to even try to con consider that, we would be on the FBI's list, right? Yet, for some reason, Joe Biden can just say, oh, yeah, they oppose our interests, so we fucking shot missiles at them. As though that is not the most barbaric, inhumane admission that one can imagine. Um... I want to show you guys a clip here. This is Representative Ro Khanna from California. He's discussing the legality of these strikes. Um, for those that are not aware, this kind of strike is not in the president's authorization. He has to go to Congress for it. It's not authorized. What he did was not legal. Um, so, you know, Mr. Law and Order respects the parliamentarian so much he won't override the, overrule the parliamentarian on $15 an hour wages. But be, rule of law be damned when it comes to committing war crimes. That's fine. It's unbelievable the brashness with which all of our presidents, at least in the modern era, conduct themselves on foreign policy. So anyway, we'll watch a, a small portion of this interview, and I'll link the full interview in the description box, and then we'll come back and discuss. So Congressman Ro Khanna, he joins us now to discuss. Congressman, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. You have been at the forefront of fighting on these issues for quite a long time now. Just lay out the position, not just regards to the Trump administration or the Biden administration, but the legality of these airstrikes themselves and what they tell us about ongoing U.S. foreign policy under both of these presidents? Well, the airstrikes are illegal under both U.S. law and international law. There is no authorization of force to strike Syria. In fact, President Obama tried to get that authorization and Congress refused to give it to him. So there's, a, in fact, precedent that there is a reverse signal from Congress. Second, there is no authorization to strike Iran. So the president, unless it was imminent defense, which there was no justification in this case, cannot take that action without coming to Congress. And then they invoke Article 51 of self-defense under international law, but that requires going to the United Nations. So this action simply didn't have legal basis. So I did see some critique from other Democrats. I saw Senator Tim Kaine. I saw Congresswoman Jackie Speer and a few others. But do you think that the standard has been fairly applied by your Democratic colleagues to Biden? Do, would they have said more if it was still Tr Donald Trump in the White House? I'm sure there would have been uh, more outrage because this is not a close case. This is a clearly a violation of the U.S. Constitution and international law. Moreover, I don't understand how you say that strikes are de-escalatory. I mean, they just sort of make that claim. But where, where is the de-escalation? I mean, how, what is the logic behind that? Uh, my view is, and that many people in the Democratic Party said this, that we need to be extricating out of these endless wars and this conflict. I don't see how striking in Syria Iranian targets achieves that objective. So it, it's pretty open and shut kind of a thing, right? He says it violates domestic law, international law, the U.S. Constitution, and, and then he says it's not even close. <laughs> like, and yet, yet the Biden administration tries to insist that this was a perfectly appropriate thing to do. And they now want credit for not going forward with a second strike. As though our memories are that of a goldfish. As, as though we're now to believe that Joe Biden, because he, he apparently didn't go forward with a second strike because uh, women and children were seen near. Now we're supposed to believe he's some sort of fucking humanitarian after he just killed 20 some people because they oppose our interests. You see the Democrats game? I, you know, 
not uh, I just want to be clear. Republicans are awful on foreign policy, too. But but Democrats try to pretend that they're the humanitarians, that they're the compassionate ones and the pacifists and this and that. Yet Joe Biden has his secretary of defense came straight off the board from Raytheon, still owns stock in Raytheon. It's it's an absolute joke. He plucks people straight out of the military industrial complex, goes forward with illegal strikes, and then wants you to view him as some sort of humanitarian. Oh, I hope he doesn't get away with it.